Even if you don't know much about cars, it's pretty likely you'll know what this one is. It's a 1959 Cadillac. And among other things, it's most well known for having the largest tail fins in automotive history. The high point in styling elegance attained by the new Cadillac. In 1959, not everybody loved this car. It had its detractors as well as its admirers. But there's an incredible elegance to the car and probably nowhere better expressed than in this gorgeous roof line, which sweeps over and complements the rest of the car. The heavily jeweled front end was described in the day, and not necessarily in a flattering way, as a wall of chrome. By 59, Cadillac had dispensed with the huge bullet shapes in the grille that had been symbolic of the brand for many years. It's ornate, that's for sure, quite over the top, and so different to the restrained aero styling we see today, even taking into account the current obsession with bold and brash grille designs. But not everything in this Cadillac is original. It has been lowered and it wears a set of bespoke wheels that had to be made of heavy gauge steel just to hold the car's weight. The back of the car was ornate, almost overly so. It included an extra grille built into the back with a cleverly tucked away fuel filler. And the boot lid itself was unbelievably massive. The car itself was heavier than many contemporary full-size four-wheel drives which meant the small block V8 needed every one of its 390 cubic inches to deliver appropriate performance. As long as it was big, powerful and smooth riding on the turnpike, that was enough for most customers. It was, after all, America's most prestigious luxury car. We caught up with Tony Zeno, a dyed-in-the-wool Cadillac fan who has owned this car for more than 20 years. And where did the whole Cadillac thing start? Uh, I think the passion started for me back in uh, early days as a, a young uh, young boy. Dad had a, um, a 1957 custom line and uh, I just loved and idolised that car. I cried when he got rid of it and uh, I thought one day I'm going to have a car like that. And this came up uh, locally in Melbourne and Dad and I went out and had a look and we purchased this 1959 Cadillac and it actually runs a four speed automatic. These cars came out um, with many options, uh, like Electronic Eye, which was a device that uh, dipped the headlights if um, cars were coming at you the other way with the headlights. And quite often in Australia, we never had any of the options available to us till probably the 70s. It was an amazing for that time that uh, they had all these, these functions. Um, and people, when you pull up and take them for a ride and say, wow, you've got yeah. Power steering in a, in a 59 car, you know, and you know, it's just amazing. Cadillac, like, um, they always had to be number one, and they're always in the race to beat Chrysler and Lincoln. So what they did, uh, they Cadillac like, poured money into it, um, and especially in the mid-50s, they, they put a lot of class into advertising. And in 59, you would pay probably around three to four grand for a Chev, but this was almost $8,000. So to own a Cadillac, um, you were either well off, um, a movie star, or in the Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> now, now tell us how the car is used these days. We now run a business called Cadillac Style. Uh, we utilise uh, this 59 and our 55 Cadillac. We do weddings, debs, formals, and there's nothing, nothing like you know, a, a stylish Cadillac yeah. to arrive in your wedding. You might get married again this <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Thank you very much.